I had preeclampsia. I was bleeding profusely. I thought I was going to lose the baby. I was bleeding and bleeding. I almost lost my life. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh. I needed to be on bed rest. Because I wasn't feeling pain, I felt I was fine. I objected. I said I wasn't going to stay in the hospital. He said, um, if I insist on going home, but I shouldn't do anything, I should just be on the bed and rest. I said, okay. I got home. The next day, I went to the market. I bought a lot of stuff. Took them home all by myself. Started cooking. I was still sweep. I was just doing my normal thing. I just felt, I'm fine. There's no problem. And that was the day it happened. I had this um, pain in my lower abdomen. It was like mesra pain. That's the best way I can describe it. And I said, okay, what kind of pain is this? I got up, went to make hot tea. I took this tea. It was not up to five minutes that I took that tea. I don't know whether it was the tea that pushed every... I really don't know what happened that day. And the next thing was, I started bleeding. I got up because the pain was becoming severe. So I got up from the bed. And I heard this boom. I looked blood. My husband was not at home. He had gone to church. Meanwhile, this time, my husband still didn't have a job. I, if you are familiar with Lagos, I was doing my atinata in Ojudu. I was in Ojudu. I was doing my atinata in Ojudu and Egbeda as well. I was going to Solid Rock Hospital at Ojudu and another hospital in Egbeda. So the doctor at uh, Egbeda was actually my doctor because I wasn't really, I was falling off the two, but I know that I, that I will give birth at Egbeda because of recommendation. Dr. Bakari, that is the name of the doctor then. So when it happened that my husband was not at home, I was at home alone. I had to call on my landlady. She was like, is, is, is it your EDD? I said, no, ma. I said, it's next month. She was like, okay, okay. You know, she jumped into her car. She was like, what hospital? I said, solid rock. From my heart to solid rock, I don't think it was. It, should, it wasn't up to, it wasn't more than 10 minutes drive. We got there. When we got to solid rock, hmm, this life, sometimes the enemy want to cut your joy. They want to cut it short. When you are almost there, almost God will not allow us to see that almost, I mean, almost nearly. That was what was happening to me. Nearly like eight months, going to the ninth month for me to deliver. So the doctors were confused. They were like, they don't know if the baby is still there. I need to, like, okay, you need, I needed to go and do scan first. After the scan, that's when they will know. I was like, no, these people are confused. I, I, I said, please, can I have my phone? I called my husband. My husband was still in church. I said, please start coming. My husband came. I said, call Dr. Bakari. And the doctor was like, there's nothing he can do over the phone that I should start coming. So we started driving down with, with the blood, with hours bleeding. As we were going, we got to Egbeda. We ha My husband took police escort. Because you know how Lagos is the traffic. So there was no way driving all the way from Ojodu to Egbeda. So... Uh, we started driving down to Egbeda with police escort. Meanwhile, a day before this incident happened, the hospital caught fire. So when we got there, the whole place was messy. Messy, like messed up everywhere. Was, you know, a place that just caught fire. And the doctor was like, the doctor was almost crying. He said, he would have insisted that I stayed. God knows, maybe maybe if I was in the hospital, nobody knew what was happening, what would have happened to me because that hospital caught fire. So they rushed me to the theater and I had, um, they had to quickly save my life and that of the baby. 
before they rushed me to the theater i didn't have strength again i lost the consciousness and everything i didn't even know when they, i didn't even know how what happened you know they did the cs and they brought the baby and my baby was tiny it was not even up to two kg or it was exactly two kg preeclampsia what is preeclampsia is a, a pregnancy um complication where you have a three i had three over three what is the three over three i had oedema my legs were swollen because as at that time i know if i go to the salon anywhere i go to most times if i sit for like one hour the slippers or the the sandals i came with will not fit my leg it will not fit my leg so i had preeclampsia i had protein in my urine and i had i had uh, high blood pressure so i had three over three I wasn't supposed to go home when the doctor said I should go, I should stay on bed rest in the hospital so that they can monitor me. But I insisted. And the doctor was almost near to, it was near to tears. It was like, if he had known, he would have insisted. If I had stayed in the hospital, maybe they would have been able to monitor me very well and do not get to that. But at the end of the day, I thank God that I made it. At the end of the day, I thank God that uh, my life was saved. The life of the baby was saved as well. Today, this baby I'm talking about is 12 years old. He's a big boy now. So guys, I want to encourage every woman out there. If you have not seen my first video where I talked about my waiting period, what I went through before I got pregnant, I'm going to uh, put the link in the description box below. Please go and see that video. And guys, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe. So guys, firstly, if you are trusting God, don't put pressure on yourself when it comes to pregnancy because the pressure actually will not get you there. And secondly, if you are advised in the hospital to do bed rest or whatsoever advice they give to you, mostly African women, African women, ah, we too know. <laughs> Say, I'm waiting the apple. Some, some people, they will tell them, come for CS. Ah, in short, I will talk about that one. When, <laughs> that one is another, it's a story for another day. I can't put that one in this video. When I was pregnant for my second daughter, <laughs> come and see me. <laughs> I said, I will not do CS. So. See, fights. <laughs> ah, God, as if CS is an abomination. If they say CS, go for it. The most important thing is the fact that you, you, you went to the theater or wherever you had your baby and you are saved and the baby is saved. That is the most important thing. Whether it's natural birth, whether it's CS, whatsoever. CS is not, uh, it's not, it's not, it's not a bad omen. So guys, I don't want to bore so much. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, kindly subscribe, guys. Team, my next one. See ya. Bye.